Hey kids, welcome to Unit 4, Lesson 3, Nested If Statements, Exercise Number 2. In temperatureScene.java, we're going to write a method getImage using nested if statements to return the correct image to draw. If temp is greater than 75 and has clouds is true, we're going to return the clouds PNG image. If temp is greater than 75 and his clouds is false, we're going to return the sun PNG image. And then in my theater, we're going to test the algorithm by changing the values for the temperature scenes object. Let's take a look at our code. In my theater, we're instantiating a new object, my scene from the temperature scene class. We are passing along 80 and false. We are calling the create scene method from my scene and then playing the scene there. Let's look at temperature scene. We're importing our theater. We're extending the scene class. We have two private instance variables, temperature and clouds. We have one constructor that's taking temperature and clouds. So that was at 80 and true from my theater. Those are the two parameters we were passing along. We can set the temperature. We can set if it has clouds. And then we have our get image method we have to write here. And below is our create scenes method to create the scenes in our theater. Well, what do we have to write? We're going to write a nested if statement. This is going to test to see if the temperature is greater than 75 and has clouds. Otherwise, we're going to print off a sun image. And there's going to be one little frustrating part for the super coders out there, but we'll get to that in a minute. Well, let's write this out. They pretty much gave us the answer right there. We are going to say if, do our curly cues. This is outer if. And in this one, if temp is greater than 75, we're going to return the image and the image here is this clouds PNG. Remember it has to be in quotes because it's literal clouds PNG and don't forget your semicolon after. Now, if the temperature is above 75, we also want it to have clouds. So this is our nested if statement. We're going to come down here and we're going to say if, and we're just going to put one colon here because we're going to add it below. If has clouds, and then we're going to put ours here, and this is going to be our inner if we're going to print off our clouds PNG, but we don't have any clouds. We want to do a sun PNG. And that's going to be an else statement. And we're going to put that outside our inner if. And we're just going to say else, put our curly Q. And inside here, we just want the image, quotes again, sun.png. Don't forget your semicolon. We're going to return image at the end. So if the temperature is greater than 75, and we have clouds, we're going to get this clouds PNG. Else, if there are no clouds, we're going to get sun PNG. If we go below 75, there's no else statement for that. We're just going to get an index error down in our console. Let's go back to my theater and hit run and see if we're right. It is 80. Well, there's no clouds. So we get a sun PNG. If we change this to true and hit run, we should get some clouds. Well, let's see if we're right. We do. Again, if we drop this to 70 degrees and hit run, we're going to get a file not found exception. And this is just saying, hey, there's no image to display when this statement comes up. Again, 
not part of this exercise to fix that. Key takeaway from this lesson, again, is exploring this idea of nested if statements. This just further demonstrates how nested if statements allow us to test multiple criteria. The more criteria we test for, the more specific we can be about our outcomes. Hopefully this helped you understand nested if statements a little better. As always, kids, if you have any questions, uh, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.